In this video, I'm going to share with you some practical examples on how we could use filter function. If you want to know how this great function works, just stick around and watch until the very end of this video. If you are using Excel 2021, Excel for the Web, or Microsoft 365, filtering data would be a lot easier for you. Using filter function, this allows you to filter a range of data based on the criteria that you will set. It is also a dynamic function which gives you great flexibility in filtering your data. We are going to use this table as a reference. We will discuss how we could filter this table using one criterion, multiple criteria using different conditions similar to AND and OR operators, finding duplicates, and a lot more. Before we start working with our examples, let's try to understand first the syntax of filter function. We can see from here that our first parameter refers to an array. This only pertains to the range or array that we want in the results. Technically speaking, this is just a reference table. Then, next parameter would be include. This is where we are going to supply our criteria. Take note that we can add single or multiple criteria in here. Depends on what you want to show on your new table. And lastly, if we want to replace a value when no results have been found in our reference table. Let's start with example number one. In this example, we want to simply create a new table based on a reference table with only one criterion, orange fruit. Let's type equals filter. Our first filter says array. We just simply select the entire range that we want to extract. Take note that we're talking about fields here from date field to price field. Therefore, for this array, we need to select A2 to E46. Our second parameter is include. As I mentioned, this will be our criteria. In this case, we're going to highlight B2 to B46. And since we're looking for orange fruit, we will type equals orange. Then if you put another comma, there's another optional parameter. Let's add blank in here so that if orange is not been found in our reference table, then it will return a blank cell. Example number two is pretty much the same with example number one. It's just that we're going to reference our criteria to cell R5. Our table will be automatically filtered based on the value of this cell. Let's try again. Equals filter, then select the range which is A2 to E46, comma, then a reference column which is B2 to B46 equal to S5. If we change our value in S5, let's say banana, you can see that the table also changes.
In our next example, we want to return a specific value if no records have been found. But before we apply that, let's just try to enter a regular formula and see what will be the value if no records on it. Let's type equals filter, select the range again from A2 to E46, then comma, then B2 to B46 is equals to Z5, As you can see, cherry is not present in our data. In this case, it returns an error value of calc. To avoid this, we'll just have to add a new value in our last parameter. Let's add no records found. Our next example will show us how to create a simple filtering by date. Let's say we want to filter February 7. Let's type equals filter, select our range again, comma, then A2 to A46, then equal to cell AG5. Simple as it is. We can also use a filter to get the maximum or minimum value in a range. Let's start with getting the maximum value. Let's type equals filter, select the range again, from E2 to E46, then our reference column will be from E2 to E46 to get the max value of the same column. Similarly, we can use the same approach to get the minimum value. Let's type equals filter A2 to E46, comma, E2 to E46 is equals to minimum of E2 to E46. Our next example will be having two criteria in different columns. Take note that we need to use asterisk to indicate that we are using an end operator. In this example, we will try to filter peep, apple, fruit, and type B. Let's type again equals filter, then select the same range which is A2 to E46. Then let's type open parenthesis to have a grouping for our first condition. Then select B2 to B46 equals to AU4. And this is where our first condition resides. Then let's close this, add asterisk, then open parenthesis again for our second condition. This time we will select C2 to C46 equals to AU5.
Then let's close it again and add our last parameter, comma blank. Our formula will be something like this. Similar to our previous example, our next example focuses on two criteria. However, this doesn't need to be satisfied both. We simply wish to extract data at least one criterion has met. Let's try this once again, equals filter, then select range A2 to E46, comma, Then open parentheses for our first condition. Select B2 to B46 as our first reference column equal to BB4. Then let's close it. Earlier, we typed in asterisk for our end operator. This time, we'll type plus sign. Let's add our new criteria. Type open parentheses, select B2 to B46 again then equal to BB5. Let's add our last parameter so that it will turn blank in case there are no results. We can also use other operators like greater than or less than in our criteria. What we want to achieve in this example is to return the records which have gr price greater than 100. Let's type equals filter, select A2 to E46 again. Then since price column is in E column, we will select E2 to E46, then type greater than 100. Let's add our last parameter as blank again. Let's try this approach once again, but this time, let's look for blank data in type column. Equals filter, select range, A2 to E46, C2 to C46 equals to blank. Then add another blank. In this example, we want to filter those records which have more than one transactions per day. We can incorporate count if function to make this work. Let's type equals filter, then select range A2 to E46 again. Count if A2 A46. A2, A46, then close it, then add greater than 1, let's add again our last parameter as blank.
Our next example will filter our data in a date range from February 7 to February 16. Equals filter, select range A2 to E46. Let's have an open parenthesis again. Select range A2 to E46. greater than or equal to CD4. Then close parentheses, asterisk, then open parentheses again, select range again, A2 to A46, less than or equal to CD5. Then let's add our last parameter as blank. And for our last example, we want to get the end position of a specific fruit value. We know that from a reference table, we have several orange values. If you want to extract third occurrence of orange fruit, which is this side, we can use filter function to do this with combination of row, if, and small functions. Let's do this. equals filter, select our range again, then row B2 to B46, since our criteria is fruit column, then equals to small if function, select the column B to B46, equals to CL4 comma then row B2 to B46 close it comma then blank comma CL5 our formula will be like this let's try this now and see if it works let's try to change the position to fourth one Let's try to change Apple and now we can see that this formula works to get the end position. If you find this tutorial useful, please give a like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you again next time guys.